Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. It's really windy today, uh, still no haircut. I'm having it on my to-do list, but uh, I just don't find the time for it. And uh, well, now I actually got out of bed, so I didn't shower yet, I didn't do anything yet, so I don't really care. I just dropped off your dots, as you can see. <laughs> Hello. And uh, let me go in the car for one second. So there we are. So yes, uh, a lot has happened, really, really busy. Um, we had a friend over for the past six days, six days, he just left. And yesterday I went to the vegetarian, vegetarian association, vegetarian bond, I know how you call that in Dutch, up in English. But anyway, it's an association, it's a non-profit, it's an NGO. And uh, we did something really cool. Uh, I really like it. I think we're really in one line. Uh, I facilitated the meeting. That, that, that's the biggest thing. Most people, they go into a meeting with their customers or with their clients or, or, or wherever with an agenda, where that's what, they, that's what they want to get out of it. They want to get the sale, they want to get this. And I do think it's good to have a reason, like a goal of the meeting, but a goal that brings value to them, not to you. That's the first big thing that I learned and that I think that makes everything super easy. Like it's not hard to go into a meeting because I'm no, I know I bring value to them. I know that the thing that I'm trying to help them with is bringing value to them. So then my job then doesn't become for me to sell my IDs. It becomes for me to ask them the right questions or create a process that will actually bring them towards uh, the same ideals or that we're leveling so that they know which level I'm thinking of because this is my job. This is what I'm doing. Uh, I think way further about these things than they are because they're busy running their business. They're busy creating uh, the stuff that they're doing. Like, like, like they're stuck in the way they're doing business because that's what they know. That's what they're experts in. That's what they do. So then it's nice to get an outside source. So if you have a business yourself or if you're thinking about a business, it's always good to hire a coach or it's always good to hire somebody else or, or get people in your business to help you with your business because they will have different perspectives, different outlooks, different outcomes. And I think we are going to do something really cool. So, so um, we're gonna have to see how everything adds up and how the end production is, but the IDs, the plans uh, are really cool. Now we have to make sure that they're gonna be executed really well. So what I'm doing, I facilitate the meeting. They're on the same level, the same understanding. Uh, and once they're on the same level, they will actually contribute and create even better IDs than I have because they know their customers better than I do. So together we created a really cool um, roadmap and uh, now my job is to manage that roadmap and make sure we're getting there step by step and finding the right people that we actually need to work with. Uh, some people are already in-house, like they have a, uh, a graphic designer already who's gonna do the new brand guide that I will help her with. Then together we come up with that, then that's a check. They approve it, okay, this is now the brand guide. And if you don't know what's a brand guide, if you have a business or if you have a YouTube channel or blog, you should need a brand guide. You need to get something that defines who you are, what you stand for, what you're doing, which colors you're using, so that along every single social media channel, you can pass everything through this brand guide and everything will be uh, tailored or aimed at the exact same thing. It's basically like posting a picture on Instagram where on every picture you put a sepia filter. So everything has a sepia style. Well. You want to post on every single product, image, everything that you do, you want to have it to be in line with your brand guide. Your brand guide has to pause over it before actually it's published to the world. What this does is that it gives you a really streamlined uh, view and uh, you create a brand where people actually understand you because you've been posting so much in the same area of expertise or same guidelines, same colors, same look. If you look at McDonald's, for example, as a vegan, that's a bad example, but it's the best example because close your eyes, think about McDonald's, what do you see? You see the golden arches of the letter M and that's branding, that's powerful. If you see Coca-Cola, you think about red. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's way more powerful than people think. And the most important reason why this is so important is that almost every product is good. Almost every product, like, I don't say every product is good, but if you look at the best 10 products of that type of product in that type of niche, all these 10 products are stellar products, are really, really good products. 
Uh, but what's the difference? Like the difference is your story. The difference is your brand. That's the only differentiator. You cannot compete on price because then you always fight the war on being the cheapest. You cannot compete on price because only one can be the most expensive. So then there's eight people left. And how can these eight people make something different? How can you be different? This is not because your service is gonna be better than the other people because the other eight services are good enough already. The difference will be that your story is connecting better with the audience. They like your story better. They like your ID better. They like your vision better, your mission, your community. They like all these things around you, your brand, better than the other brand. So this is the reason why this is so important. This is the reason why I think as mass medias disappear and social medias where every single person is a publisher, is a media company, is an agency, will get way more um, yeah, rights and way more ability to self-promote, it automatically means that you have to know how to differentiate yourself better. So this is a very important concept that I think that uh, you as a small brand, or maybe you're a medium brand, or maybe you're even a big brand, uh, is where you have to step into. It doesn't matter which type of brand you are. Even if you're a clothing store, regular retailer in a town, how are you different from all the other retailers? Because the clothes they can buy in your store are not going to be that much better than in the other store, unless you're a super niche type of product. So think about that. Think about how you can position yourself better. What brand are you? Make sure you have a brand guide. Uh, if you need some help with that, just leave a comment down below and um, I will see what we can do because we're working on building like basic packages for people and a system and a little course on how you can design your own brand. So uh, that's something cool that's coming up as well. Then finally, the last thing, Builder All You is going great. Uh, it's better than expected. Uh, and that's, that says a lot because I always expect a lot. But the cool thing is, is that we're working now, I've built such a good relationship and commitment with the owner that we're now actually looking into merging. So uh, doing it together, uh, him and me, and seeing what we can do and how we can push this. I will need some financial backing for that. He can provide that. I would add a lot of value to the platform. Again, I deliver so much value to him and his community that it's interesting for him to actually be a part of it and help me support and grow it bigger, faster, because that will only complement all the users that are using Builderall. So this is what you have to think of going into every meeting. If you're trying to pitch something, if you're trying to get a job, if you're trying to get a client, Step one is know how you bring value, because if you don't know how you bring value, then there is no value. It's like poker. If you don't know who's the weakest player on the table, then the people are probably sitting there because of you. And uh, that's the exact same thing. And then once you go in, once you try to pitch, once you try to sell, and this is not only business, this is relationships, this is life in general. Once you try to get something, because if I tell my kid that he cannot eat this or that, uh, because he can't have an ice cream, for example, before dinner. That's like I'm teaching him something. I'm selling him on the idea that he cannot. So if you think about this, this goes deeper than relationships, of than business uh, alone. Uh, anyway, this was an eight minute rant again. I hope you guys like these rants. Uh, right now I'm going back home and I will edit probably two vlogs, but also I have a chill day. I worked for the last seven days. I worked so much that today I am saying I'm going to study and learn and do a lot of things about productivity, product, project management, branding, design, I'm reading, I'm studying, but I'm not setting any goals for today. So today is a study relax day and I will see where it takes me. Anyway, that's the vlog for today. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe down below to make sure you get all the updates. And if you're watching this, leave a comment down below because I still don't get any people to comment and I really want to see who is watching because I know that from the 30 subscribers I have right now, uh, four of them are probably my mom, my girlfriend and two other people of my family. Then three or four people from It's Not Salad that drove over to this channel and followed me along. But who are the other 20? Who are the other 20, 21, 22? Let me know guys and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. What is next? Feeling. How does your customer feel after interacting with you? Are they motivated, excited, ready, confident? Feel like a family? Or do they feel that we are in this together? Which three do you pick? 
Uh, family. Just family. I don't know. <laughs> family. Okay, but I want two more. You want to feel like family with us. But when you're with us, what else do you feel? You feel family, you feel... Um, uh, you can also add new words eh, that are more inside of the, 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 the charm of family. But when you feel with family, what do you feel? Um, that you feel that you can count on it on the long run. Okay, you can, reliable. You feel it's a long-term relationship. You feel yeah. welcome. You feel we have motivated. So our our goal is then to build a relationship, give them a defined roadmap, and create awareness for their business. Yeah. Makes sense. So yes. our X factor, we have to choose one, is that I have a very impressive background already. Is that what we're gonna use as a differentiator? or the fact that we are actually doing everything that we are selling and you can look at these test cases i think that's better we do what we sell like we're playing yeah, yeah. uh cloud and dirts like gary vaynerchuk uses call it clouds and dirts we do yeah, yeah and we praise like we 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 say you need to do this but we're actually doing it ourselves as well so you can follow the process and see and have trust in the success that we are building so i think that's a yeah. really 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 big I'll go with that and I'll, I'll go with that as well. Okay, so now let's go back to the um, uh, let's go back to the culture. So we just had a three and a half hour conversation with Henry, uh, which was amazing. Which was one of the best conversations I've had with him so far. Uh, we really, really defined the attention store, which is the branding agency and uh, we're creating a process that everybody can use when they want to build a business or anything and we are considering giving it away for free so we are really thinking about that and i'm thinking i'm going i think i'm going to do that because the the process will be our bait will be there to help people so it will be basically about how to start up create your business id your validation your product etc then afterwards it's focused on how you can actually brand it and position it and after that um, how do you create a social media architecture to actually promote it? And uh, yeah, pff, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. I'm tired. I have no voice anymore. My throat hurts. Everything hurts. But uh, super happy. So this is the end of the vlog. I am going to study a little bit. I'm going to watch some YouTube. I'm going to make some notes. Maybe, maybe I'm going to talk with Eric from Builderall. Uh, if I can manage to get some time on his schedule, uh, at least ask him for it, else I hope it's tomorrow. I'm gonna make a little roadmap, and before I actually start doing this, uh, I wanna take the users of Builderall through that exact same process as well and show them the things that I'm actually doing so they can do something with it themselves. Um, that's it for this vlog. Guys, thank you very much for uh, watching this. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment down below, let me know who you are. Uh, if you have some questions or if I can help you with your business, just leave a comment down below and I hope I can help you with your life, with your business, with whatever it is that you need. Uh, if you're inspired by this, if you think this is cool, then um, hit subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single episode. Also, if you want a more, if you want only these business type of things, subscribe to the Builder All You channel because that channel is really directly uh, about the topics that I'm actually learning along the way as I'm growing and uh, the things that I've already learned uh, in the past 30 years of my life. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.